Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? Uh, Alex Jenkins checking in, uh, currently in a trade. Um, I got in a trade on AUD USD at 75.48. The market's currently at 75.23. So, as you can see, uh, um, $3,000 in profit. I got in this trade probably about, uh, remember when it was like almost just almost a, just under an hour. Probably about 48 minutes, I think, left, uh, on this trade when I entered this trade. Uh, the market was currently, uh, let's take a look whether, uh, I entered this trade up. Give me just a moment. Um, I think the swim is giving me a little, uh, problem right now. As far as the data, so it's slowing everything down. So you can see that's why this is buffering right now. Uh, give me just a moment on this. But as you can see, the market is definitely broken the price. You know, uh, my trend line and, uh, Move to the downside and uh, when it hit the uh, target, which was 75.21, I uh, didn't, I wasn't sure it was gonna go that far down. I'm just kind of giving me that kind of movement. But uh, the trade's going well. It's at 75.23 currently right now. So things going pretty good on this trade. Right now, I'm currently up 25 pips. Uh, that's a pretty good trade, you know, uh, for, you know, it's just for an hour. I mean, I mean, the market got away from your, uh, strike price. So that's pretty good. Let's see if the charts done got back, caught back up. Yes, they caught back up. So I go to the tool. I need this to be a regular arrow. Uh, let's zoom in on this trade. As you can see, the new candle went formed that right and right on the pivot. Hit that hit that price and bounced up. As you can see, it dropped as low as uh hold up, let me see. It dropped as low as seventy five fifteen. So that was that was that was a huge movement. My entry was uh up here. I wanna say it was on this candle here. Maybe it was, hold on. Let's see here. Yeah, it was on this counter here. It was moving down, or maybe this one here. Because I know I got in. I tried to get in. This is the price. I know it had reached this price already. And I wasn't able to get that price right there, as you see. It's available, as you see, it's available on the platform right here. But it was just, I was just, it was just too far away. The uh, contract price was, uh, I think, $17. I didn't just want to risk. I didn't want to. Uh, I wanted more profit potential. So uh, I got close as I can, which was 40, 75, 48. And it was a good move, actually, as you can see. Uh, we got 26 minutes left on this trade, so I'm not gonna talk you guys head off. Um, I will definitely get back with you in just a moment. Yo, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're under 30 seconds right now. Cur the trade is currently at 7530 and it came up a little bit. I'm still 18 pips away from a price, which is good. So that means this will be a victory uh, on this trade. As y'all can see, I made $36 per contract. I brought 100 contracts, so I'm looking to make $3,600 on this trade. Boom, this should be set. This point is position settled. You'll see my count. Okay, it's at 35,000. I started this week out at 32,000. Uh, I made um, seven grand last week when I uh, started this demo again last week. Um, up to 35 right now. So that basically, you know, within a week, I made $10,000 a week and a half. Well, we'll just, yeah. I even not even full week yet because I got this account maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, so I haven't been the full seven days yet, and ten grand made on uh, on this account. So we're gonna continue to do it, keep this thing rolling on. Uh, but y'all can see the trade itself. Uh, you can see where it came down and crept back up, but it just wasn't enough movement to the upside for uh, to come get that price. 
But it's a victory, guys. It's another victory. So uh, Alex Zink is taking out.